Dale, open up. I need that hundred bucks you owe me. Come on, man, I know you're in there. Hello, Mark. Dale, you're huge. What happened to you? Call it a metamorphosis, Mark. A wee generation, if you will. A wee generation what? Mark, did I ever tell you I've been a wine for thousands of years? Uh, no. Well, I have. I've done it all, Mark. I've been an advisor to Napoleon, a pet for Cleopatra, a gorilla in the Spanish Revolution. See, I'm from an ancient line of super mice, engineered by Archimedes himself. You know, to be like a James Bond type of mouse, they always get the girl, save the day, that kind of thing. Jason Bourne, etc. cetera, a super mouse, you know. And every once in a while, I change my look just to keep it fresh, Mark. And to avoid possible trademark disputes. Oh, well, that's really interesting. I'm surprised you've never told me that before. Can I have my hundred dollars now? Can't do it now, Mark. Got a show about to start. What show? Dale's Tales, Mark. That's why I got this whole mouse hole world thing, thing. I'm gonna tell the world my life story, Mark, piece by piece, story by story, to enlighten and entertain. Dale's Tales, get it? Yeah, I get it. Who's the show for? For kids, adults, and everybody in between. Oh, you mean like tweens? <laughs> it's pronounced teens, Mark. Why are you putting W's into words when there ain't no W? <laughs> That's ridiculous now. <laughs> Can I just have my hundred dollars, Dale? Silence, Mark! The show is starting! Welcome to Dale's Tales. Please turn off your personal devices now. I mean you, Mark. Oh, oh sorry. Dale's Tales, they're tales about Dale, they're Dale's Tales. Thank you, folks, and welcome to Dale's Tales! And how about a hand for today's celebrity guest, Mark Douglas! Mark! Oh. So nice of you to join us. Uh, so, what's your latest project? Oh, uh, thanks for having me. Um, I guess uh, I'm working on a couple things. Mm -hmm. Reggae Shark 2 is Love one. That. Mm -hmm. And that's... Wait a minute. You owe me $100. Oh, ain't he funny, folks? What a comedian. Round of applause, Mark. Where is that coming from? Mark, that reminds me. Uh, I ever tell you about the time I won the Ninja Samurai Championship in ancient Japan? <gasps> that's right, folks. But you'll never see it in the history books. They wouldn't tolerate a mouse champion back then, you know. Sure, Dale. Ninja Samurai Championship. Twain with the super ninjas in Motohara Yama Yama Yama. I was on the one from some Dutch pirates who confused me with a cheese smuggler for some reason. Lucky for me, I had just invented the rocket booster, so I got away pretty easily. But I landed hard on the shores of the Great Orient Mark. The ninjas took me in as one of their own and taught me their ways. One day, the emperor announced he was having a tournament to find the toughest and strongest ninja samurai in the world. I signed up thinking I had nothing better going on that day. You know me, I'm pretty relaxed. But I'm tough, Mark. I easily dispatched 1,112 opponents. And by the 1,113th round, I had defeated all of the other super ninja samurais. Great. Yeah, yeah. Except for Katashi Doramaki. Mean son of a gun. Long legs, too. He was like a ninja wakit. It was that night I lost what was most precious to me, Mark. The championship? Your dignity? Your brain? The last of the fabled lip smacky yodo monster blue cheese. So stanky it'll make you pass out in ecstasy, Mark. Sounds gross. Well, what's gross to a man is good to a mouse. It's a mouse, Credo. My chef, Credo's. Silence and relax, for I now take you back 707, no, 708, no, 707 years ago. Dora Maki had pummeled me all night long in the wing. I was almost done for. Then it struck me. Directly after he struck me so hard, I flew into the royal icebox of the Emperor. I was out cold, folks, and Mark. But as it happened, I had landed right next to the lip of smacky Yodo Monster Blue. That heavenly stank revived me. Then I took a little nibble for myself and gathered up the west of the last of that great line of honorable cheese. Wake up, Mark! I took aim and threw a fastball of lip of smacky Yodo directly at Doramaki. I could throw pretty hard because, of course, as we all know, I would go on to pitch professionally many years later for the Minnesota Mice. Oh yeah, of course. I remember that. I hit my mark, Mark! And the lip of smacky Yodo landed squarely in Doramaki's mouth. And that sweet stank put him to sleep on the spot. 
I won the championship, but was later disqualified uh, because of the use of banned substances. Well, that's uh, unbelievable. I, I literally don't believe it. The worst part is, when Dodomaki awoke, he was so angry that he put a magical curse on me that made it so I can never pay back any debts. He called it the curse of the empty pockets. And that is why I don't have your hundred dollars and I never will. Oh, well how convenient for you. Oh, it ain't convenient at all, Mark. It's a terrible curse. I'm up to my whiskers in debt. That's why I live in a dang hole in the wall. It's tough, but I think I know a way to pay you back. I could get you that hundred back later today if you let me another two hundred dollars right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Mark, you think about it and uh, get back to me. Thanks for coming by. As always, good to see you. <laughs> see you next time, folks. And click that little share button to send all your friends and cousins. And as always, voila! Dale's Tales, the tales of a Dale, they're Dale's Tales. Yeah, if you could just knock this wall down right here, it's pretty much infested with termites uh, and a few ah! rodents. Uh, oh, you got the chainsaw. Yeah, that's good. That'll work.